Hi guys, it's Dale with the insurance. This week we're going to discuss an article um, that was, it's pretty interesting. I, I hope you guys like it. It's the best businesses to start in this new year in 2020. Um, and as you could imagine with the explosion of technology, um, most of these businesses are directly related to tech or in some sort of way can, can, can be formed into a tech solution of some sort. Um, and, and, and before we kick it off, um, this, this idiom is, is, is always true. Um, when picking a business to start, make sure you kinda, you, you choose something that's um, in high demand for one, and then it, it, it's also very good to choose something that that you love doing and hopefully are good at it, right? Because those latter two, if you love doing it and you're good at it, the saying is you'll never work a day in your life, right? Um, so those are those are kind of the the, the, the two antidotes that that, that that we also here at the insurance would would give to you in addition to to these. 12 industries. Um, the, the first is delivery. And you, you obviously, you might use these right now. Um, uh, there are industries now that are obviously delivering everything from, from fast food to groceries. Uh, a few that pop to my mind are, are kind of Instacart um, and what else? And DoorDash are, are, are a few. Um, another, another industry is telecommunication. This one is, is interesting because in particular in the health field, um, there's literally a, kind of a smaller industry called telehealth that's gaining popularity where, <clears throat> where you, you don't actually have to go in and physically visit a doctor to have them prescribe something for you or do a checkup. You can do it virtually, you can do it online. Um, and obviously that takes a lot of uh, a lot of programming things like that so so that's another field you 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 can uh, that, that's kind of coming in high demand that you can also um, go into and then business services more in general um, there, there are two that they kind of go here one is um, there's a lot of recognition and um, discussion about mental health uh, it's a serious topic, but um, but it's gaining not popularity but more awareness within our culture. Um, a, a, an app or a program that matches um, doctors with people that are looking for um, mental health uh, would be a, a, a great avenue that's in high demand for for someone to start in 2020. Another one has to do with more directly with um, going mobile. So people, this one's kind of um, unbelievable, but it's very true. So being a personal shopper, right? So um, people hire others to, to, to shop for them. Um, it's a service that you might not think is in high demand, but um, because people are so busy nowadays, um, it, it's something that, that, that's gaining traction that you could obviously um, start up in 2020. Uh, then you have things like if you have digital expertise, you can, you can obviously go into web development, develop apps. Apps are kind of a dime a dozen nowadays. Um, so, so that's never bad and it's only growing. Um, and then another one that's very, very, um, very dear to my heart is career coaching. Um, it, it, it's gaining a, a ton of popularity, not just in uh, within companies for kind of career development, things like that, but but you see even kind of CEOs and people at the, the higher rungs of the corporate ladder um, trying to grow, um, not just within their business, but spiritually, um, more being more well-rounded, whether it be their emotional intelligence or their, their IQ. Uh, going outside of their workplace, getting a third party, a career coach to kind of help them be more effective 
inside the office and outside the office. Um, uh, another another good industry to, to, to go into um, from a starting a business hub. Um, although there are a few that are in trouble now, um, I won't say any names, but um, hiring out space, right? So perhaps you buy a, a ton of space, carve it up, hire it out to small companies so that they can use it. Um, that is in very, very high demand. And you can use kind of, you can have open areas for people to, to, uh, to network and things like that. Very good model. Um, teaching, although for-profit teaching has come under, come under kind of heavy regulation in the past decade, online learning and online courses are uh, all the rave. Once again, people are extraordinarily busy but at the same time, they are looking to learn more. Um, so becoming an online teacher, having online classes, not a bad idea. Um, holding a pet daycare, obviously you gotta love pets. Um, pets will always be kind of in high demand. Uh, everyone seems to have one. Uh, these, the, the, the next two have to do with, um, with cooking. And if you are around the TV at any point, you'll understand that um, cooking shows are very prevalent nowadays. So either being a caterer or purchasing a food truck, um, these are things that you don't have to directly be a chef or anything. You could easily invest in a food truck, invest in a person who does um, have a, a, a cooking career. Um, and, and that could be your business for, for 2020. Uh, the, the, the final industry is be a smart home consultant. Um, this is actually a person that, that I'm looking to, to, to hire right now. Um, with the influx of technology, you can obviously have your lights connected, your thermostat connected, uh, your TV and everything else connected. And you can have those things, you can manage those things outside of your home before you even get home from work. Um, if it's all connected. Um, and, and to do so takes uh, 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 quite a bit of know-how. Uh, in my case, I don't have the know-how. So I'm actually trying to find someone to consult with me to see what devices I need to buy so that all of these different units within my home are connected. Um, so, so that's our article, Best Businesses to Start in 2020. Hopefully you find it helpful and uh, have a great day. Bye.